So continuing on from the previous video, um, say now I wanted to find the distance from point A to point B, okay? Um, and effectively what that means is that I'm trying to find the length of the vector AB. So to find the length of the vector AB, I'm going to introduce the notation with a modular sign. So I use, and lots of other mathematicians use, the notation to find the length of a vector to be this, using these modular signs, either side of the AB. Okay, So this means the length of the vector, and it's effectively meaning how far is it from point A to point B. So in order to do this, we introduce Pythagoras, because Pythagoras would be used in a normal sense. If I found if I had one coordinate in 2D, another coordinate in 2D, so I've got two points, okay, then to find that distance I introduce a right angle triangle, okay, and use Pythagoras to work out that distance. In 3D, um, Pythagoras can be you generalized into the third dimension. Um, and it's a slightly more difficult to draw, but the concept is that... No, now, now I'm going to have to try and draw it. Um, let's see. Uh, I'll try and draw it. Okay. Right. If you're trying to find the distance between this point and its most distant point here, then what you would need to do is you would need to have the triangle the right angle triangle that goes through the box, okay, from one corner of the box to the other corner. And in order to work out, well, you'd have this length, okay, you can work out the height of the triangle. The problem is that you wouldn't have the length of the base, but the length of the base is the diagonal of this right angle triangle in here. So you can work out the hypotenuse of that right angle triangle, that is the base of the box, and then you could use Pythagoras again to work out the length of the, high, the second hypotenuse. So the way that it works um, when generalized is actually it's quite nice and tidy. It is the square of each of the elements in the vector square rooted. Much like it would be if you had the vector in two dimensions. Okay, Which is excellent really that it comes out so nicely. Um, you can show that using a little bit of algebra, okay? but that's the concept. So we've got 1 squared plus minus 5 squared plus 6 squared. So that's 1 plus 25 plus 36 square rooted. Okay, so 36 and 25 is 61, so that's 62 square rooted. And that is the length from point A to point B. Okay, so that's the, that's the distance in three dimensions.